Hello friends, welcome back to part 4 of SOA series. In part 1, 2 and 3, we have discussed in detail about the SOA basic concepts, what are the benefits of SOA, what are the different components of SOA, and then we discuss about the composite, what exactly is a composite, what is the architecture of a composite, okay, what are the different uh, items or you can say what are the different contents of a composite like services, references, okay, service component and binding components. And then apart from that, we have discussed about the deployment of composites, how we can deploy the composites in SOA suite. And then what is the concept of SOA folder? Okay, what is SOA infra application? Okay, so in now specific in part four, in this short video, I am going to explain you how you can do the deployment of composite in SOA with the help of EM console. Okay, which is also called a fusion middleware control. So when you log into the EM console, okay, so what is the way how you can log into EM console is simple is the host colon then port of your admin server and then your slash context as EM, right? Now, once you will log into the EM console, the very first screen that you will see on the screen, it is called as a WebLogic home page. Now, why it is called a WebLogic home page? Because if you can see on the left hand side, There's a hamburger icon, okay? And in front of that, you can see that it is written as WebLogic domain, okay? So as of now, what you are seeing on the screen is <clears throat> the total number of uh, managed servers you have in your SOA. And apart from that, what are the different configurations of your WebLogic server domain, right? Now, <clears throat> sorry. Now, what we had discussed about the SOA is SOA is a, Java based application which is deployed on top of your WebLogic server, right? So that means you have a basic WebLogic server. On top of that, we have deployed the SOA application or you can say SOA software. So for that, you will have a different home screen. So by default, when you will log into EM, it will you will go to the WebLogic home page. And to go to the SOA home page, you have to click on the hamburger icon which is on the left hand side. And once you will click on that one, then it, it will expand all of the options for your domain. That means what all are the different SOA managed servers are there? What are the applications deployed? Okay. And what are the different other configuration? Okay. So now to deploy the application, okay, as I said in my part three of the SOA series, you have to do the deployment in some folders and that folders we will have inside the SOA infra application. Okay, so basically SOA Infra is a main core application or you can say heart of SOA, which is deployed on your managed server, okay, which you are seeing on the screen. So on the screen, you can see that SOA Infra, SOA Infra is displaying two times, okay, because I have two managed servers, SOA Server 1 and SOA Server 2. Similarly, if you have a multiple SOA servers, then maybe you, then, then you will see a different entries of SOA Infra for each and every managed server. But when you go for the deployment, you can select any of the SOA Infra application Okay, and once you will do the deployment, it will automatically get deployed on the cluster. So here in my case, I have two SOA servers. So I, I I will click on the SOA server one, right? And then I will do the deployment of an application. Then it will automatically get deployed on the SOA cluster. That means on the SOA server two as well, right? So expand this hamburger icon, click on SOA and inside the SOA, click on any SOA infra application. Okay, and once you will click on the SOA infra application, then you will go to the landing page of your SOA homepage. So initial page that we have saw, it was the WebLogic homepage. And when we clicked on the hamburger icon and then inside SOA, SOA infra application, then you will land up on the SOA homepage. Okay, so now this is the main SOA homepage and there you can see the different options, dashboard, SOA folders, deployed composite, flow instances, error hospitals. So far we have discussed about the SOA folders and deployed composites. Now, flow instances and error hospital, we will discuss in the subsequent videos. Okay. So now what we need is we have to deploy the application. That means we are going, we have to deploy the composite, right? And what we have discussed in part two and three is that when we deploy the SOA composite, for that, we have to select a folder. Folder is nothing but it is a grouping of the different composite applications that you uh, group together for the management, easy management, right? If you have not selected any folder, that means if you have not created any a custom folder then there would be a folder with the name of default where your application will get deployed right so now apart from that you can see 
just below the sova infra there would be a sova infrastructure and then there would be a drop box in front of that right so that means once you will click on that drop box drop option okay then you will see a lot of options that is different options for the management of your sova infra application like you have to tune different kind of a parameters you have a different kind of a log configurations you have a different kind of a parameters for your sova infra application so that we will cover in the next subsequent video okay so now once you will click on the deployed composite then you will see a different options so just click on the deploy okay here you can see a simple approval 1.0 application composite application is already there similarly if you have a multiple application which is already deployed which it will be visible on the screen and in front of that you will see the sova folder so in my case it is deployed in the default folder which is with the name default right and status is showing up with the green symbol that means the map mode is active that means this particular application or this particular composite is active as of now right so once you will click on the deploy okay you will see a screen and from there you have option to select your composite okay so in soa we deploy the composite which is a file with dot jar extension okay and which is also called a sar that means service archive okay so you have two options for the deployment either you can deploy a single jar file or if you have a multiple composite for the deployment you can group together that in a single zip file and then you can select the zip file as well it will automatically deploy all the jar files which is there inside the zip folder okay so the first option is archive is on the machine where this browser is running that means if you wanted to deploy some application which is on your local machine local, local laptop or local desktop then you can select this option click on choose file and then select it from your machine if you have copied your composite application on the same server there your admin server is running that means your sova infrastructure or sova is running then you can set the second option right then after that you have to select a configuration plan so it's a, it is a altogether different topic and i have already posted a video on uh, this configuration plan what it a uh, configuration plan in the sova and in web logic okay so if you have some specific configuration plan which you got from the developer along with your composite then you have to select this particular option as well configuration plan is on the machine where this web browser is running if it is in your local machine or laptop if your plan is also copied in your host where your sova is running then you have to select the third option and then click on next okay so now here you will see the summary of your application and the important point here you can see the composite revision is 1.0 okay so now what is the meaning of composite revision so in sova you are there is a feature or you can say you have a capability to deploy the multiple versions of same application okay that means for same composite that means if you have a composite with name say hello okay as in my case okay that composite that i am going to deploy that you are seeing on a screen okay it is with the revision 1.0 so i have a option to deploy the multiple versions of same composite with name say hello maybe 2.0 3.0 4.0 that means in a nutshell you can say that you can deploy the multiple revisions of a single composite in the soa and all composite can be active at a particular time now what is the use of that one and what is the difference in that okay so let's see in bit detail so sets this select composite application revision to be default default revisions are indicated by a green a dot in the composite table if a new request comes in for a specific composite application revision that that composite application revision is invoked that means whenever we deploy a composite and whenever a request come to my application to my composite okay so whenever i am sending a request then i have a option i can define uh, that uh, that my particular request should go to a particular revision of the composite okay that means if i have a two revision revision 1 and revision 2 right so whenever i am sending the request i have the option i can send the request to either 1.0 or either 2.0 and what if i have not not defined any revision in my request in that case out of all the revisions you have to define one composite as a default okay which is called a default revision so that means whenever a request is coming to your sova where there is no revision is defined then the request will go to the default okay so why it is required sometimes what we what happen is that we deploy the multiple revisions because we have to do a certain kind of a testings okay uh, at 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 a live environment okay so in that case i could have a multiple revisions of an of a composite and then i can probably can do a different kind of a testings of my application by sending the request to the different revisions okay but but one thing is you have to keep in mind that out of all the revisions one application that you have to deployed as a default revision <clears throat> okay 
and once you will def define a single composite with a default revision that if you have any request that is coming without any revision information it will go to the default version okay and when we are deploying the application then you have to option either you want to deploy this particular composite as a default revision or do not change the default revision if you are uh, if you are deploying an application okay and before deploying that application you have another application which is defined as a default and now what you want is that the application that you are going to deploy now and that application should be the default revision then you have to select this particular option deploy as default revision but if you want that previous application should be there as a default version then you have to select do not change the default revision so if a default composite application is undeployed the default revision is automatically changed to the last deployed revision for example if you have a composite which is defined as a, as a default revision and if you have undeployed that application then as i said there has to be a one revision which should be defined as default revision so if you have undeployed the default revision of, of your composite then the previously deployed application will be defined as the default okay so this is the concept of composite revision and default revision now once you will click on the deploy option okay and then it will take some time be, uh, depend on the size of your composite application for the deployment okay so that progress you will see on the screen and once it is succeeded then you will see the deployment succeeded in case of any failure then you will see a failure message on the screen and based on the error on the screen that you will see or maybe in the log file you have to troubleshoot what was the reason of failure of the composite deployment right now once your composite is deployed if you wanted to see what all are the component inside my composite then click on the composite which is deployed and inside that you will see two different sections one is the component and second is the services and references we had discussed a lot about all these things in the part three what exactly are the different components what is the meaning of services and what is the meaning of references okay so with the help of that you can see what are the different components you have inside your particular composite okay so here in on the screen you can see i have a component with name make greeting which is a bpl component and apart from that if i go to services and references that, that there i have a service okay which is type as web service okay so service means in point to my so application and reference means out point to my so application so if you are not clear about the, uh, the flow of your application in your environment okay and if you have a uh, name of the composite with you then you can simply click on the composite and then based on the composite you can see what are the different components are inside my uh, this particular composite what are the sources of my composite from where the data is coming to my composite which is defined under the services and what all are the out point or the targets from where the data is going from my composite which will be defined as a references in this particular section okay now again if you go to the soa folder option which you have seen on the previous uh, screen as well okay few slides back okay and then if you click on the soa folder then there you will see the different folders available inside the soa folder because i have not defined any of the uh, custom folder so you will see there the default okay and once you will click on the deploy composite it will tell you or it will show you all the data that means all the composite that is deployed on your soa infra so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos.